Nintendo has been filling the NPD stat sheets all year long, but now one National Product Diary analyst sees things going even higher for the Switch. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here, and NPD analyst Matt Piscatella. Man, he has an interesting outlook for Nintendo and their hybrid console. He says, if Pokemon comes next year, 2018, I can easily see Switch outpacing Wii and taking 40-plus percent share of the hardware market next year. Holy cow, that's a lot of share, Gabe. (laughs) That is a huge share. Um, Of course, PlayStation has a lot of exclusives next year. God of War, Detroit, and uh, many others. Um, Spidey. Yes, Spider-Man is another big one. So they're going to keep some share of of the pie out here. But yeah, I mean, Pokemon is the one big thing that Nintendo hasn't done because we got Zelda, we got Mario. Um, Pokemon will definitely move uh, consoles, right? Absolutely. That, that's other than Smash. I don't know if they have any other franchises that will sell as many consoles as Pokemon. Well, definitely not. I mean, I think Pokemon is the the big ticket, and there's a lot of buzz about this. I know that people are just speculating still, but I feel like the more this gets kind of out there, the more this gets discussed, the more I'm believing that it's gonna happen. I think I saw an interesting comment um, where someone was saying in response to this uh, 40% theory that there's no way, like, Game Freak was like, oh, the Switch, and at E3, Nintendo was like, here, try it out, what do you think? And then the guy was like, oh, we're gonna make a Pokemon. Like, this has been thought about, worked on, conceptualized for a while. And I really like some of his other comments here, um, just to kind of go through them. Mr. Uh, Piscatella is quite the quite the, the smart guy. He says that since it is a hybrid console, there's a possibility of selling multiple units per household, making the upside potential bigger than the Wii, which I think is a good point. Wait, you know, like it, explain that to me. So say you have a family with three kids, there's the possibility to own three Switches, whereas a Wii, you're probably not going to have three Wiis. Okay. All right. So sales wise, that he's he's saying could really help bolster. Um, he also says that launch year sales are almost always supply constrained. We don't know what could have sold for Wii or Switch in the launch period because both are supply constrained. But sales are sales and stats are stats. And that uh, the Wii, while one of the hottest items on the planet for a while, did have a very sharp and fast downswing. And he thinks that the Switch. Uh, even if it doesn't beat it in, like, year two, we'll have a longer tail given that it is a core gamer console and not just a fad. I agree. If Pokemon comes next year, could it overtake, you know, 40% share of, of the industry, of console industry? Um, sure, if if it comes. You know, we, we know my feelings on that, and I don't care to talk about them here. Uh, <laughs> but... I mean, it makes sense. And people like this, um, they have they they have this job for a reason. Not that they're like 100% accurate. Uh, no analyst ever is. But it is their job to make these predictions with some sort of legitimacy behind it. Uh, they do have, right. a, they have access to a lot more numbers than we do. They see patterns in sales and, and, and in the industry for, you know, decades. And these things that they say, they're not just pulled out of thin air. And obviously they can be wrong. Uh, Michael Pactor exists. He he's wrong about a lot of things sometimes. Yeah, uh, he, he's a, he's an analyst for for uh he he's not with MPD, but he's also just an analyst and he focuses on the video game industry. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit, just because not everybody might know what you know an MPD analyst might do or, or whatever. So I think it's important to keep all all of that in mind. You know, there there's no way that he can, you know, accurately predict this with with a hundred percent certainty, but like we said at the top of the video, if any console is in a, I mean, if any type of software is going to push these consoles uh, to this uh, like level, it's going to be Pokemon. Yeah, absolutely. So if Nintendo does get that, they may need to kick production even into even higher gear. And it's interesting to think about the rest of that 60%. You know, there's already about 65, 70 million PlayStation 4s out there. So how much more percentage uh, can they hold and, and does xbox find itself crunched you know after the initial hype dies down from xbox one x where will they be uh, but let us know how you feel about pokemon giving nintendo such a huge boost i mean i think it's obvious to say that it will but do you think they could reach this level of of insane success 40 percent 
of hardware market share next year. Let us know your take in the comments down below and also how you feel about that little note on it being a multiple unit device per like per household like switch having the potential to easily eclipse the Wii due to the portability and the fact that you know each of your kids is probably going to want one or you know a couple each you know husband wife boyfriend girlfriend whoever they may want their own as well to play Mario on the go take it with them and then you know just have one kind of be your main living room unit. Either way, give us your take in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Until next time, for myself and Gabe, Switch Force, out.